my observation will be the same as yours, Paul, which is that no victim is too small. And, and that 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 really came true, you know, was was brought home in the whole ransomware uptick, right, in the last few years. And because you have to, you know, you have to remind people that this is not about someone doesn't like you, right? The the cost of doing ten thousand attacks isn't much different than the cost of doing one attack, right? Mm -hmm. These are professionals. This is what they do all day. There's literally right rooms full of people that do this. This they are trained. They have tools. They have robo dialing you know they got this is their living and they're doing it at really large scale so like with a mail scam right a physical mail scam you know people don't do that because number one there are federal laws but now you got to pay for stamps you got to pay you know you build traceable things in cyberspace like the incremental cost of attacks is zip oh and by mm. the way they only need like a fraction of a percent if you're doing spraying thousands and thousands of things you don't need many you don't need 80% return, right, on your victims. A percent or so is plenty. In fact, will probably fund you a really good living. So yeah. everybody, right, it can be a victim because there's no incremental cost. And when you looked at the original rise of ransomware, right, they're not asking for millions of dollars. They're saying a thousand bucks, you know, three thousand bucks, five thousand bucks, enough to uh, sort of entice to say, mm, if I call, if they actually thought about this, if I call in a security company to help me recover. Right. I've already spent thousands of dollars already. And that, you know, so that, that it, it became like an economic cycle.